Today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing these two servos. They look the same, they look really identical except for the label on here, but let me tell you, they are far from identical because this in fact is a servo and this I'm afraid is just a very small tiny 9 gram paperweight. I'm going to show you guys how to tell the difference and the problems I'm having with these servos. I want to give you a word of warning when you're looking at buying servos for your airplane because not all servos are created equally. I bought a bunch of servos last year and I didn't get around to using them until about a month ago. So what had happened, I'd put uh, a couple servos into my airplane. I kept having to retrim and retrim, but the airplane just wouldn't fly very good. It just wasn't stable. Well, I come to find out it was the servo that was bad because it wouldn't center back to its uh, uh, center point. And I'll give you an example. So let me show you the difference between these two servos. But I have both of these servos hooked up to my elevator channel. And that's where I really noticed the problem. So let's run this. Let's run this and see if there's a difference. I have both of these. Well, this one's already moved because I moved the elevator, so it's already off center. But I had these had these both um, parallel to each other. They were both straight across. So let's go ahead and use this elevator servo, and we can see what's happening here. So first, I will just slowly move it. And right off the bat, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Thus, I didn't, we see that already, how far this one's off. So, I mean, when I bought these, when I started using these, I figured, yeah, it works, it moves. Yeah, sure, I test them. I test my electronics, and it was moving, and uh, I set up the airplane, and see what's happening here? See how far it's off? Now, eventually, it will get kind of back to center, but it's going to take quite a while. I mean, I can feel it buzzing in my hand, and I'll, you probably can't hear it but it's buzzing and very slowly, maybe if you see the gear, you might see it very, very slowly starting to uh, move back. But you can see how far this is already out of trim. And uh, if this is an elevator servo, and as what's common with an elevator servo, it gets worse the more you hold back on that stick. So you can see the little bit of movement on the right on the good servo, and the one on the left is hardly doing anything, and I'm pulling back more back pressure, more back pressure, because I need more pitch. Pulling back more back pressure, more back pressure, and it's way off. So let's, uh, let me show you this. And if we keep doing this and keep cycling it, and say we're flying and we're just holding a lot of back pressure, and we're not trimming the airplane, or maybe we're flying inverted, and we're having to uh, put a lot of pitch in the airplane, and see how far off it's uh, in trim now. And something I've noticed, you can see now, it's all the way, the one on the left is pegged to its fullest extent, and it's not even moving. And the one on the right is, I still have free movement of it. So you can see how this can definitely create a problem and create a very dangerous situation um, flying your airplane. Look at that. So now I'm going to show you how to tell the difference, at least uh, from my experience, which of these servos are good and which ones are bad. They're, they're both pretty much identical, and they both cost about the same price. So on Amazon, I bought these uh, servos right here. They was like $17 for a bag of 10, and it came with all the hardware that goes with it, just like the other ones. And construction-wise, they look totally identical for the most part. Um, I bought these from J-Deal, J-Deal. All 10 of these are completely bad, and they do exactly what I showed you in the video. The ones on Amazon had uh, P-O-R brand. Uh, that was the picture, even though this is what I was sent. So I don't know if they changed the picture or maybe updated the servo, but uh, I don't know which way to go. But if you look on Amazon and see that J Deal company, there's a lot of people complaining about this very same problem right here. So the Tower Pro compared to the Miyuzi, I guess you would uh, pronounce it, Miyuzi. So these seem to be good servos as opposed to these. Now the only differences I can tell other than the label being different, everything else looks the same. Everything else looks the same except for the potentiometer inside. The Miyuzi, the good servo, has got a green potentiometer in there, where 
The other one is a black potentiometer. And I can tell a difference in the plastic case. This one has a TP, which I guess stands for Tower Pro, which is that one right there. So those are the only differences I can tell. So from my experience, these things are the same price, essentially the same servo, but these seem to be a lot better than these. I can't say they're completely worthless. I mean, the servo arms are compatible with this. Uh, maybe I can use the wires and make some uh, uh, extensions or something. It looks like the gears are identical. I'm not, I I'm, haven't torn them apart yet to find out. So maybe I can have some spare gears if I break or strip some of the gears in the Miuzi. So this is a heads up for you guys who are in the market for servos or guys who fly a lot, but this potentially could be a, a safety hazard flying with this. Like I say, out of 10 of them, 10 of them were bad. So that's a hundred percent failure rate. So those are worthless to me. So I am using these. So guys, I hope this video is helpful to you and uh, I will catch you later. Thanks for watching.